for another review. Today we've got a beer from Cloudwater and this is their Tremendous Ideas. It's a double New England IPA then coming in at 8% ABV. It's in collaboration with the other half out of Brooklyn, New York. So this is the 2019 uh, version of this because I don't know when they first done uh, just looking now, 2017 was the first edition of this. So it's only the second time it actually says it on the back of the can. Um, they brewed it in collaboration for their Green City Festival, which was in New York, I believe. Um, I, I saw various posts about that festival. This beer was canned then on the 30th of May of 2019. Uh, and the best before the 19th of September of 2019. So... Yeah, 440ml can then. It doesn't really tell you what hop varieties are in this anymore. Um, I think Cloudwater have gone away from that, from what I've heard and what I can see on this can at least. So uh, we won't go into any kind of flavour notes. We'll just crack it open then. I'm trying to remember where I purchased this beer. Give me a minute and I'll have a look. Although it won't be in stock now. So that's looking really damn good in the glass. Two big kind of heavyweight breweries then coming together for a uh, an imperial New England IPA. So it's a very kind of, as you can see, very orange, a really nice looking haze, quite dense looking. Didn't really pour much of a head on this one, which is kind of surprising. That's not really producing much of a head. Just covering the top of the beer then. So this beer is, well, I'm reviewing this on the, the date, come on, tell me the date, the 21st of July, so it's had a fair while in the can, but I say it was 30th, so 30th of May, May, June, July, so yeah, it's about, what, seven weeks in the can, something like that, give or take. So any kind of, like, astringency would hopefully have died off, so let's get an aroma. Yeah, tropical fruit notes, but there's like a. I mean, I did actually see this earlier, accidentally, and it's coming through in in the actual aroma guava. A bit of passion fruit, then. That's the only note I saw was the guava, and it's coming through. It's obvious. Overripened pineapple. There's a little bit of kind of flower, kind of sweetness, wildflower sweetness. It's, it's coming across a little bit dry. Mm. Maybe a little bit of alcohol, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll go into taste and see what we get off that. No head at all, it's completely gone. But yeah, looking great in the glass. Cheers. Right, well, it's definitely sharp. There's a sharpness about it, a bit almost, almost puckering. Yeah, the back end is like a a real strong kind of like oniony, garlicky kind of vibe to the beer. I just had a beer before, funnily enough, another collaboration with Other Half, which is like, you don't they don't come around too often, with Stabergetz. They're um, population free. That's a 7% IPA, and this is an 8%. They say it's a double New England, but whatever. Yeah, big citrus notes. Wow, that, that sharpness is really surprising. I, I, I thought that after like seven weeks in the can, 
any kind of that astringency. I don't know what what it is exactly. Yeah, maybe the hops, but it's really strong. I mean, straight out of the fridge, but yeah, the body on the beer is, yeah, it's a really, it's bordering on a full body. Certainly the upper end of a medium, borderline, full body. So first thing you know in this, tropical fruit notes all the way. Bit of pineapple. There's a little bit of dryness. Um, passion fruit, grapefruit. Big grapefruit. A little bit of that guava. It's almost like a little bit of earthiness starting to creep in now. Just like residual dryness, earthiness on the palate. Like 15, 20 seconds after you've had a kind of a mouthful. It's just, it's just hanging around there. Not too bad. A little bit of kind of pine. A little bit of dankness. But you can tell it's a bigger beer. It's, it's got just the body alone. You just can, It's not really alcohol. Just the body, you can you can kind of you just know. Yeah, big juicy orange. Yeah, that sharpness at the end is really surprising. Very nice, but um, I like them a little bit. Me personally, my palate, not it's right or wrong. Probably wrong, but. I like it a little bit kind of calmed down, that, that kind of sharpness at the back. Um, I don't know the IBUs to this beer, so anyway, there's there's a bit of commercial description. It's the same, I've just checked. Um, so on the can it says, Tremendous Ideas was the first collaboration brewed in Manchester with our friends from our half back in 2017. Probably around the time of Hop City, I think that was the first Hop City in the UK in Leeds. And, I know other half come across and a bit. I actually went to that festival and it's pretty damn amazing. They, I think they've done one or two collaborations around the country at that time. So it's probably a bit before or after Hop City. Um, and we, what say? And we've uh, we've revealed it just in time for the second edition of their Green City Festival, uh, com combining a huge pillowy body with vibrant citrus and tropical fruit flavours from a selection of punchy modern hop variety, varietals. I'd like to know what they are. Um, this is a smooth and decadent double IPA. That's what it's saying on the can. So perhaps it's just a double IPA then. According to Untapped, a double New England. I don't know. Whatever. So it's saying passion fruit, lime, guava and strong notes of pine. So passion fruit, I wasn't lime, that's the only one I wasn't actually picking up. On. I saw the guava and I thought, why Why did I see that? But he, yeah, he's, it's quite obvious, that one. But the rest... Yeah, lime. Lime juice. No. Yeah. Body is thick, smooth, creamy, built, big, uh, bold, juicy character. Aftertaste, lime juice, grapefruit, zest and resinous notes, hop notes, low bitterness. So yeah, I'm definitely getting that. It's probably lime, stroke, um, grapefruit, kind of that sharpness then on the back end. It's not really bitter, it's just that real sharpness. Definitely getting onion and garlic and all that sort of thing. This is seven weeks out from when they brewed it, or when they canned it, shall I say. Um, tasting really good still. Um, I reckon a beer like this could... Are they saying, oh, drink fresh and all this sort of thing? Um, be interesting if anyone's got a can come sort of end of August, September, out of curiosity, whether that kind of, that real kind of uh, sharp kind of ness from, I don't know what it is exactly, maybe the uh, the grapefruit or the lime has died down a little bit. That would be intrigued to know. Um, but So if anyone watches this and they're having a can in August or September of this year, let me know down below. It'll be quite interesting to find out. But still a really good beer. Um, I just that I, I'd like that kind of back end just stripped away a little bit and just pillowy kind of mouthfeel just to run right across rather than just at the beginning. If you know what I mean. Waffling on. 
Um, in terms of rating then on this one, uh, Tremendous Ideas, the 2019 uh, version. I don't know if they're going to be doing it again at this point, who knows. Um, I'll give this a... I'll give it a four, an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Um, so it's a 4.25 on an untapped scale. Um, yeah, still a very, very good beer. Um, glad I picked it up. It's one I wanted to try. I missed it the first time and managed to get this one. So yeah, I'm really happy to actually get my hands on one. Because I know it really sold out really quickly here in the UK. Um, I don't know what the distribution in the in the US was, where it made it over to the Bro I'm sure it made it to uh, Brooklyn, New York area, um, Eastern New York area. Joe, I don't know if it made it over your way. Probably not, because you probably would have mentioned it. Um, he's in like Western New York, in in, um, in Buffalo. So, I, and again, um, they've got a, other half now. I've got a. Uh, is it a brewery or a tap room in Rochester, New York, which is just to the east of, uh, well, along the northern kind of part of the state, um, east of uh, Buffalo. So anyway, I'm waffling on, sorry about that. Um, it says dry hopped intensity 24, 24 GL, so I don't know, being, not being a home brewer or anything. Any other information? Not really, so yeah, can, can gluten, wheat, and barley oats in this vegan friendly hops fade fast blah 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 uh, artwork by textbook studio so yeah really nice looking can another one i'm going to be keeping all these cans i'm keeping man it's crazy um so yeah let me know if you've had it before tremendous ideas pretty damn good beer thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next review check out my playlist on the on the screen now should be on the screen now other half and my I don't know, uh, we'll, we'll see what other one I've put up. Probably English craft beer playlist or whatever. You'll see it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.